Hey there, and welcome to RAND's basic tutorial series. If you need more information about RAND, you can book a demo with our team using the link in the description. You can also create a free RAND account and use the templates below to draw along with me as we go through this tutorial. Let's dive in. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss canvases and views and how to use these in order to create a comprehensive architectural drawing set using RAND. So canvases and views are the way I manage my drawing and present my drawing. New model in RAN will by default open a model canvas. This is what you're seeing here. Uh, this infinity whiteboard where you can start importing files and drawing your building, room, site plan, uh, detail, and so on and so forth. The default setting of a model canvas will be a stroke scale at 1 to 40 and a unit at meters. Uh, you can, of course, customize these to the different units that you wish to use. But the idea is this is where you draw um, at this type of scale. Then when you want to present your drawings, you're going to revert to a paper canvas, which will have different default settings. And we'll talk about that in a sec. But before we do, I want to mention that you can create multiple model canvases in RAN. You're going to find the model canvases on the top left, and you can, as I mentioned, create many of these and organize your drawing to your preference. So as you can see, you can create multiple model canvases. In this model, I have one model canvas for my floor plans. Another one contains my uh, sections and maybe some of my mood boards and materials. I have another model canvas with some uh, drawing details. And then at the day, each one of you can create and curate their model according to your preferences. Uh, so this is just a recommendation. And I just want to go back to my floor plan model and show that for each model canvas, you have different layer settings. So in this model, I have my floor plans stacked one on top of the other. You can see here that I have lighting plan, furnishing plan, construction and demolition, each one set on a different layer. And this will come in handy once I create my document set. So let's see how that can be done. I'll jump over here and just to uh, go full circle, when you want to create more model or paper canvases, you can simply click on the plus button and create a new one here. For now, I don't need a new one. I'm just going to jump into my paper canvas and show you my model here. So a paper canvas is where the default settings will be a stroke scale at one to one. The reason is that this is where I create my presentation and I want to see how it looks like. So what the line weight is and such when I export this drawing set. Um, other than the stroke scale being at one to one, the units here are centimeters. So the pages I'm going to add on to this paper canvas are actually the size of a page. An A4 or A3 page, for example, are going to be uh, approximately, let's see, Let's select a page and these are going to be 42 centimeters on 29.7 centimeters. So that's what I want to represent when I'm looking in this paper canvas. Let's just zoom in and see this drum set and then how uh, we built it. So this contains multiple sheets at a three size and each one of them has a view looking in to my model canvas. And we're going to talk about views in a minute. I have my demolition floor plan. Um, furnishing, lighting, here's my construction one, and then the other drawings I have like sections, design details, and so on and so forth. So to create another page into the set, let's zoom in here. Let's start with a page. A page is what you need to present your presentation or drawing. You can add that from multiple places on your canvas. Uh, one place is from the page panel where you'd manage all your pages. Uh, the default is an A4 page. We can change this, of course, to let's say uh, A3, for example. And now I want to place on this sheet uh, view into one of my model canvases. Views can be found in different places on your drawing. So one of the places is back to the layer panel and right here on the plus button. Once I hover over the view, it's going to give me an option to look into different model canvases. And let's summon a view from my floor plan um, model canvas. This view is in fact like a window or a snapshot per se of my drawing. I can't change the layout of this view, so I can't move components around or blocks around. But what I can do is edit its styles and its layer properties. I can also crop a view and resize it. So let's start by going down here to the override. And once I override a view, uh, if I you know, hover or move around around it, nothing's gonna happen. Once I hover within the view and start panning and moving, this will set change its scale. So the first thing I wanna do is set a scale to my view and I can do that right here on the right. 
I'll set the scale of this view to 1 to 75, for example. You can select whichever scale you'd like. And I'd recommend you to click on the disable zoom and pan. Uh, that way, once you hover in the view uh, or over the view, it will still be set to the scale you want. Let's set up this views cropping uh, bounding box. I'll click on done. And I'm just going to click down command or shift, depending if uh, you're using a Mac or PC, uh, to crop the boundaries of my view. And let's bring it over and place it on my page. The next thing I want to do is set this uh, layout, right? I want it to be either lighting or construction or demolition. I don't want this uh, mishmash. And for that, I'm going to manage the layer properties. Again, I'll select the view. I can either click override or just double click the view itself. And now I'll have access to its layer panel. So here I can start hiding or unhiding the layers I don't want. Let's make a demolition floor plan out of this set. So I'm just going to hide all the other irrelevant layers and click done. I can always revert and just click on um, reset overrides if I want to have the view represent my exact model canvas. All right. So that's basically how you can set up a view of your model canvas on your paper canvas and create a demolition sheet. Another thing you can do is override the styles of elements within the view. So if I double click this view right now, and let's say I want to change um, a color of something, I can grab this uh, wall style, for example. Quick tip, I can also right click it and select similar and select everything carrying that style. And instead of red, for the sake of this demonstration, maybe let's make it uh, bright purple, or even let's um, make it just a solid bright purple without the hatch. All right, so I hope you can see this uh, well. Uh, my point and what I'm trying to show you guys is that these settings that I override my view with are not gonna affect the rest of my documentation set. So for example, if I take a look at this demolition plan now, you see that the original red style of these walls didn't change and each view has its own override settings. And that's how you can in fact create this comprehensive set looking into your different model canvases um, and set it up for export. This is also super handy if you're trying to create a drawing sheet with elements in different scales on one uh, paper. So if I zoom back in here, let's do an example uh, and add a uh, floor plan and drawing detail on the same sheet. So maybe let's change this view now. I'll double click it and then let's maybe reset its style. So again, I'll select everything with the same style. Let's revert um, and let's change this from demolition to construction maybe. All right, the next thing we can do and change the scale. Instead of one to 75, maybe we want to show an area of this drawing at one to um, 50, for example. And then let's uh, disable our zoom pan and move this here. All right, I'll crop this right now. And now we might want to bring in the detail of the staircase drawing to show. So this can be like a contextual floor plan. And now we want to show the constructural staircase drawing. We'll bring a new view. And I want to also mention that you can bring a view from the bottom toolbar right here. So I'll click the view and you'll see on the right that you can choose the canvas that you want to bring in the view from. In this case, I want my detail and millwork canvas, and let's draw a viewport looking into that. All right, I'll override it again, uh, then zoom and pan, and let's place this and select the scale for my drawing set of the staircase. Uh, let's see if one to 50 can fit here. Um, we can even go bigger. One to 25 seems like it can fit. I'll disable the zoom. And all right, I've just created a sheet where I have my constructual staircase drawings at 1 to 25. I have my floor plan for context at 1 to 50. And this sheet can be printed out. I'll probably want to bring in another title block from the block library. In this case, we can quickly copy one from here. Then you'd want to customize it and such. But just to go full circle, note that um, this is how you can create your drawing. Uh, looks like we maybe even need to uh, make this a bit smaller. Let's do it 1 to 100. And there you go. 
Once you're ready to export your exhaustive architectural drawing set, go to the page panel on the left and click on export, or you can also share your drawing as a presentation from the top right. Now to learn more about exporting or presenting, please visit the tutorial about those topics. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any more questions, you're welcome to book a demo with our team by using the link in the description. You can also join our community and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Have a good one.